Hi guys, uh, so today we are going to start uh, Angular uh, with uh, Spring Boot. That means we are going to develop an e-commerce website uh, using Angular 6 and uh, Spring Boot. For database we are, we are going to use MySQL. So the thing it is, um, the reason is uh, we are going to integrate our uh, REST API. Uh, that means we are going to develop REST API in uh, Spring Boot with MySQL as a uh, backend uh, software. And also Angular is for front-end development. We, is, we are going to integrate. We are going to integrate REST API using um, Angular 6 uh, HTTP libraries, and it has been uh, separated. We are now Angular 6 specifically uh, developed for uh, integrating REST APIs. Um, <coughs> so for uh, Angular 6, we need some uh, uh, free e-commerce website. So I just googled it and I found uh, this website is really good. So website is uh, website is designed by W3 Layouts, uh, who are providing by open source. But in the bottom, we need to use their W3 Layouts. So I am going to use this website for our for our web application for e-commerce website. So I have already downloaded uh, in this, that uh, sample website, and then uh, so I am going to integrate with our Angular application using that I can able to integrate with our Spring Boot REST API. So as I said, uh, so we need Angular 6, uh, Angular 6 has to be installed in our system. So as, as in previous video, I have uh, explained how to integrate, the how to install Angular with the node modules. So Spring Boot, we need Eclipse software. If we all know, uh, for Spring Boot, it needs Java uh, with Eclipse. And then for MySQL, the system has to be installed with uh, MySQL um, software. So first we will start with uh, database design. So database, so database design. So as we all know, uh, for e-commerce website, we need uh, users table and then uh, product table and then category and then orders. So these are the basic table <coughs> while developing uh, of course we should need uh, create uh, some more tables also but I hope these are the basic tables uh, we need to create for our e-commerce web application. So users the field will be have id, name, email uh, and then uh, mobile and then it will have address also like it, it, it's, it he, he will he, he will have an address also and then uh, any other uh, information uh, is email verified something like that so products for products it has uh, of course it has id and then name and then price and then um, uh, add, add on and then uh, what are, what else it will have so i hope these are the basic things of course uh, yeah it has a category id category ID. so for category it will have uh, only i hope two things id and name so for orders it will have a id and i will create another one order id and then it will have a product product id of uh, uh, primary key of products and then uh, quantity the user how much he needs that means how much he is order and then price and then um, order on that means in which day he has order and then status so these are the basic this uh, i think needs for this uh, e-commerce web application so let's start with the basic database design so i am going to use a sql pro so you can use uh, uh, my sql workbench or any other editor so for mac i am using uh, sql pro as an uh, uh, editor for my sql um, database so i am just opening i am so i am creating a new database which is called youtube e-commerce okay so yes the database the schema has been created so i need to create a, a new table but the problem is um, here um, <coughs> so, so here uh, specifically in our uh, SQL Pro it, it has to be uh, little tough to create our application so what I am going to do is I just copy the create 
table syntax from another uh, database so just copy here and then it will have everything but uh, what I need is created updated that and all I don't know say sorry I don't want so login token yes it is needed type mobile lat long we don't need super admin approved business name chef lat long chef area this and all I don't need unique email yes of course email has to be unique so I hope these are the main uh, basic fields so I remove this username field I make ID name email so we have to check um, so what are the fields ID it has yeah name email and it has to be created password yes of course and then it it should have a address. It has to be text. And then is email verified? Uh, yes, it has to be. So is email verified? Yes. so once created we can able to change base fields in the editor so no problem so first let me create the field let me create the table yes yes yeah it's created successfully and then <coughs> I need to create a, another um, table called products so I will use the same structure here all you see products ID name price Place. I will remove everything here also I will remove everything so ID name and then price so it has to be double right but I don't know whether it will accept or not let me check okay no problem price right around So let me create first with the basic fields and then I can able to see it's giving some error what error I hope yes it's created <coughs> so price has been created so I can able to uh, add fields here itself so what is this add add on that means in which day the e-commerce admin has created so I can able to create a date so this is the date and then um, category ID. so it will have a it has to be foreign key of this category table so now we create the same thing that means with the without foreign key okay so I will refresh automatically the fields will be added here and then I'm going to create um, another table called ID, sorry, category, ID name, that's it. So, these are the fields. So, table name has to be category. Okay. So, yes, it has been created. And also, I'm going to create a order table. Orders so ID so uh, remaining fields I will use I will do in editor itself so I just create a basic table yes created So in the order table I have a ID and then I will create another field called order ID. So it will have a some anything. So I will have I will like where care right? because it may have an alphanumeric character also. So I will create a now 40 and then product ID. So for which product the order has been uh, placed. So this has to be um, primary key of sorry a uh, foreign key of uh, product so it has to be gen uh, and have a quantity 
so of course it has to be integer there is no doubt about it and then <coughs> quantity and then price so for example if a product price is 10 and if he is ordering 2 then it has to be 20 right so the total price and then order on so I am using date that means which day he has order and then state status nothing but status of uh, the the order whether it has been placed where it has been delivered or cancelled or cancelled means what is the reason something like that so integer and then maybe it needs 10 or 11 depends so I will create Yes, the create has been created. So product side is begin 20. So it has to be begin because the parent uh, table has begin and then 20. So I will refresh it and then I will create the relations. So I'm going to create a PR product PKID. So table orders product ID so which table I'm gonna refer I'm gonna refer product ID table yeah so add so has been created successfully and then uh, product table so product table so this category ID has to be um, point to the category table so it has ID begin 20 so this, uh, this this field also has to be changed so I will change 20 it's refreshed so relation category ID PK sorry FK foreign key so which column is pointed to category ID so table is everything is corrected so add yeah it's created successfully so our basic table has been created for our application and also we have uh, downloaded our um, our website template also let me check Yes, it has been extracted, and I will open the index HTML. Yeah, yes, the um, W3 Layouts website has been uh, that means e commerce website has been downloaded and it's working here. So, we are going to integrate this in within our application. Yes, it's working. So, this and we will. Uh, fetch from our database and uh, this will we will edit in our angular application so these products and everything we can able to so we will have a admin also where uh, the user can able to search whatever he wants and uh, based on that okay so this is the initial video and meanwhile we will going with the meanwhile uh, we will update a series of the videos so if you have uh, any doubts please do comments and please thumbs up the video and if you have any suggestions or any other clarifications please do comments uh, we will clarify thank you please click the bell icon thank you